In this video, we'll be learning about how to integrate push notification in React Native using Firebase. Let's go with step by step. Let's first create React Native project. So npx React Native community slash CLI in it and the project name. Mm, okay. Till the, all the dependencies are installing, let's go and create the Firebase account. Mm. Firebase go to console let's start a project and we can give any of the name here for example push notification demo project let's click on continue we can click continue no issues in that creating project let's check the status so it is asking for installing coca-cola ports although it is not required here because we are going to cover only android setup first then uh, in later video we'll be covering the ios setup as well or ios integration so yeah i think project is done and uh, the project setup is also almost done and let's come on continue because we are going to cover in Android, Android for today's video. So let's click on Android and we have to add the package name of our app. So package name would be com dot the push notification demo. Let's copy paste the name because if uh, the spelling would be wrong, then uh, the push notification will not work. So let's copy and paste. This is the project name and the paste and we can give any random name like the relevant name and it is completely optional you can give or not register app uh, let's download this uh, survey json file and let's download it so what we have to do with this file we have to add this file into our uh, this app folder right android and app folder so we can open it and what we can do like let's open first let's uh, go inside our folder push notification entered and what we have to do we have to open this location open uh, android and app so we have to basically what we have to do like come on a project uh, go android and the app here we have to paste this file the json file so let's paste the file so our work is done for the firebase part let's come here and do next and uh, we don't need for this now you just follow my steps continue to console let's uh, this work is done let's come on uh, this documentation are in firebase.io from this documentation we'll be learning about like how to handle uh like native configuration and other needful dependencies uh they listed here so let's come here and come on this section install npm i'll be providing all the uh, necessary uh urls or the links which will be required for you uh to like referring all the uh dependency or the documentations so let's come first here and install this dependency let's come and install configure the firebase on a native label so what we have yeah there is a section configure firebase with android uh what we can do just copy this before that we have to open our folder in android studio uh, android studio opened successfully so like before proceeding ahead let's do one thing first uh, let's run the application so that like we can verify uh, that is our application is working fine or there is any bug or issue so let's do it first and till it is working uh, or it is in the progress let's go into the documentation and come here and like do the native configuration uh, just copy this line and we have to paste it 
inside build.gradle under android folder so let's come here and open this uh, gradle script and this uh, first one first one we have to open build.gradle and we have to paste it uh, inside dependencies so come here and paste this uh, that's all and we have one more change uh, which is this what we have to do again we have to open build.gradle but this time it is under app folder so let's open it and we have to paste it here uh, and the first line of code is already uh, in the top of the line which is a com.android.application so after adding these uh, lines we have to sync now click on sync sync now so it is synced and what we have uh, yeah now i think our application is run perfectly so i'm my I'm, i mean i have opened android studio so it will be opened here directly so it is opened here only uh, let's validate it i'm just reloading it so yeah it's it is the same application it might in your case it might open on a different pop-up so that's that's completely okay so our native code or native implementation is done let's code in a react native so let's open this project in a code editor then let's come on the documentation uh, i'll share this link as well in the uh, description so what we have to do first we have to request the not for the notification uh, like when I, I mean you know you already know about it uh, it is nothing but the permission the notification permission we will ask user that if he wants to uh, receive a notification from our app so yeah that's what it is let's come on the code base and open the app and just let's remove this other code okay. and the text push notification and we can here justify content center and align items is also set and after this let's do this we can do let's create a function and request permission we can add try catch and say inside we can put error and here we have to paste the same code with await and what we can do we can like put anything let's keep it inside the result and what we can do now according to this i mean on the basis of result if result equal equal to permission android dot results dot granted here then what we will do we will uh request for the token or i would say the device token right if it is not we simply we can like put the other or we can like make any logic according to the according to the business requirement a simple permission deny that's all and here we can put use effect and we can ask for request and i'm going to i have saved this and let's check if anything comes up so here it is saying permission denied okay uh, let me reinstall the application then we see what happened that it, yeah. so it's another thing but it is saying permission denied uh let's do one thing console.log let's put it result here let's see okay, uh, what is coming inside result and 
this and mm, let's put it this as well right so that like we can verify what we are doing with our conditions and i'm using the latest uh, like uh, in current uh, current version it is 0 0.80 for react native version so i'll have to put j for opening debugger so let's see so it is saying returning never ask again uh, this issue might be showing because of like we have not added any notification service or dependency that's why i mean it is not able to uh, get or find any any of the survey which is required for uh, like enabling any push notification so for that what we can do like we have to do first uh let's come on this cloud messaging section i think yeah i use this let's come on the top installation we have to add this package react native uh firebase messaging that's why that uh, is showing that particular thing not able to like never ask again so first we have to add this package and rebuild it uh, let's see what happens so npm i messaging it's done and let's rerun the application with the same command and let's come here and see what would happen now so yeah as you can see that we are able to receive that a uh, pop-up uh so now yeah i we can do anything uh i mean the token second token part we can get the token according to this pop-up if i have i want to allow it so i have allowed let's see what is the result came up okay this has been um, disconnected so dismiss it it let's come again and we can do again j so it will open a new pop-up so you can see we got granted granted so in this case we have added that part successfully let's come here and create a new uh, section uh i mean the method const request token again try catch and i'll be sending all the links you don't worry uh let's go and check let's call this method inside this we will only call this method when the user has granted the permission okay we are good now uh let's see how does it look look at it this is a token and what we have to do we have to copy it but 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 we are currently running on like the emulator so first we have to connect it from a real device then we can uh, we will be able to receive the real time not notification so let's do that so i have connected my real device uh let's see what token is so this is a token and let's copy this token and what we have to do uh, we have to like come on our firebase panel now we have to come on this messaging section let's create your first campaign firebase notification message so let's do this and let's add any test notification title uh, test notification text so now click on text message and we have to add this uh, that token onto this section as you can see it's like add an fcm token so click here add here and i'm just putting it onto the background mode and test it so as you can see this test notification title and test notification text is came perfectly so our notification is working fine on a background mode what if i want to uh, like 
receive this notification on phone foreground will i be get that notification or not so basically we cannot we can't get this notification but what we can do we can do customization or we can receive event from fireways that we uh, like whatever notification we will uh, like sending from the firebase account we can that particular event so how we can do this let's check that out as well cloud messaging we have one section which is foreground section so let's check this part as well so this is the thing right uh, what we have to do let's copy this use effect and uh, let's put it here after this uh, foreground notification so i have done it and let's try to reload it now let's test it again this uh, this token will never change it only change uh, when the application is reinstalled and till your uh, till the application is on the same device and not in the re in reinstalled the token will be the same so let's test it again so you can see this uh, a new token has been arrived so on this particular event you can manage your custom notification using notify and other uh, dependencies or sdks are available for react native to show foreground notification so you can do that if you want uh, that video from me please share your feedback share your suggestion what you want from me and i'll definitely try to come up with your solutions and your suggestions please do that in the comment section and uh, let's go ahead i have done that, that as well what if i have been removed that i mean i'm kill mode i'm in the click kill mode so i'm just i have removed the application so will i be get the notification now so let's see currently we don't have any notification right so let's send it again look notification is came properly okay so that's how we can uh, do this and that's how we can uh, like manage all the things our uh, foreground uh, notification is working fine our background application notification is working fine and one more thing that i want to add we have one more uh, one more event which is com coming again from uh, this fireways it is background handler basically so if your application in the background you can track it through this event right so you can try this by your own so that's all in the in this video i hope this video you found it helpful and if you want me to create another videos on any different topic please feel free to give your suggestion on uh, on, on the comment section and if you have any doubt in particular on this particular topic please feel free to comment down your uh, suggestions or your doubts you like this video that you can comment you dislike this video you can uh, comment that as well uh, thanks for watching